two-party system. The two-party system. We all have to stay with the two-party system. Fix the Republican Party. Fix the Democrat Party. Fix the parties. Fix the parties. Fix the parties. Year after year, year after year. Hold your nose and vote. Hold your nose and vote. Hold your nose and vote as they both work together. Then Trump comes along and then they indict him and indict him and indict him and impeach him and more show trials and more and more and more. And the people go, whoa, somebody will step in. Q will take care of it. (laughs) Eight years later, (laughs) nothing's going on except for more and more baloney, more and more baloney. (laughs) We want more baloney. Yeah. COVID restrictions. Stop Trump's rallies tr- stop Trump from, from, from becoming president at all costs. Then when he becomes president, indict him, indict him, indict him, impeach him, impeach him, impeach him. Then cheat an election. Then th- then invent a, a pandemic. And then World War III. Any way they could possibly create a diversion to stop Trump from getting in. But yet Trump is running as a Republican. And you're like, oh, well, we're going to fix the Republican Party like Reagan did. You know how many years, 30 years or so I've known, hold your nose and vote, hold your nose and vote, two-party system, lobbyists, all these people with all this extra money, special interests, the New World Order, <laughs> the World Economic Forum, the WEF, all these people are, are pulling all the strings. And then you say, oh, well, we're just going to try to fix one party or the other. Same thing. That's, that's, the, the, that's what the, the Achilles heel Everybody wants to fix the GOP because there's no hope for a third party because of Ross Perot, except for Donald Trump is not Ross Perot. Ross Perot was never elected president. Ross Perot never confronted the media like like Donald Trump in, in the fake news that everybody knows about now. Ross Perot would have stood a chance if the fake media was put was called out. But he didn't. And Donald Trump became president, by the way, the most pre- popular president in my lifetime. I know he would get reelected as an independent, but we have to go back to the Republican Party. Why? Because we have to fix one party or the other so we can keep the donors in there. We can keep all the special interests here and, 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 and we can have one party or the other. You know, whatever happened to throw them all out, run them as, as independents, keep, them, keep their feet to the fire. And if, they're, and if they do wrong, throw them out. Have them recalled. What happened to throw all the bums out? Run with only independents and verify. Why are their their parties on tickets? There shouldn't be. They shouldn't have this party or that party on a ticket. It should be all independents. It should be all right. It should be written in, too. Oh, well, Florida stopped the write-ins for the presidential election so that one party or the other could be on the ballot, but write-ins, oh, no. Oh, well... That's all wrong. The two-party system's running the elections. Oh, well, the Democrats are watching the elections. The, the Republicans are in there. Both the Democrats and the Republicans are watching the elections. Yeah, they're both foxes watching over the chickens. It's ridiculous. It's time to throw them all out and run all independents. Have them vetted. No more colluding together with each other. No more special interests. And by the way, all votes by petition. All your representatives stay the same, but they only represent what the people want voted on. They should not have the power to go against the people. 